I will tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafnir, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafnir hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature. A dragon. She can feel it. No. Don't open the door. Don't go in. Don't turn back. Turn back. What's it? Get back. A great beast guards Helheim. Garm is its name. And it knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How would you say Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it. The beast is stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. To do. Your father wants them to go away, and he only hurts me to silence them. But he's gone now. But they always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They say I'm already dead. No, no they won't be with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't do you them. see them? Do you see their faces? Help me! Help! Get me out of here! Don't go! Where has she gone? She's disappeared again. She shouldn't be here. She escaped the darkness. She, she took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father, Zinbel. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now. Does it?
Dilly. This is just another trial. Just another trick. Just a distracting a real mission. You think you know, but you don't. Your mother is dead. You don't know anything. Who is she? And Dillian is dead. Her torch is going out. No, it's not. Going out soon. She hasn't got much time. She's too slow. It's not good to burn out. The darkness will come again. she could see them. Her father, Zinbel, could see the monster in her. She escaped the darkness. That she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? It's a trap. 
Rock, the beast is coming.
doing his best. She hasn't. She never, ever listens. She can't. She's will take her like it took her mother. She can't resist. Pointless even trying to retrieve me. The lights run out. She'll die. She has to do it. She can't. She'll die. She has to. She can't. <laughs> And she'll die. <laughs> Help but think of him. A tender guiding flame in a world so black. The longer it burned, the more she convinced herself that there was nothing beyond its reach. How little separates us from what we fear. Sigurd learns that Brynhild had once disobeyed Odin, and so he had her punished, stuck her with a sleep thorn, and put her body within a rampart of burning shields. Only a man who knew no fear would ever reach her. 
But like me, Sigurd is fearless and passes through the flames just as I did and wakes the sleeping warrior girl. She teaches him the secret wisdom of runes, namely victory runes, ship runes, runes for persuasion, runes for truth, runes for healing and help, runes for perception and power. Like Sigurd, the greatest young warrior of the north, you must learn the secrets of the runes to fight amongst the gods in hell. People think of evil as an unnatural, invisible force, and so invoke the gods for protection. But evil can come from the hand behind the gods. A familiar hand, cold and cruel. He tried to fix her with his rituals, kept her trapped in that hole. She couldn't say which was worse. The darkness. Or the monster that her father had become. She couldn't fight them both. And so she left. Headed for the one ray of light that shone down on her. If she had stayed, she wouldn't have survived. Maybe Delian would still be alive. I'm so sorry, my love. She will save his soul. Even if this time, she can't save her own.
give me Zenwa. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore. But believe this. It was my mission to make you hate. To hate the darkness with a passion so great it would focus your mind on this quest. time I've wanted to protect you from the truth that would have destroyed you a long time ago. That you have conquered your darkness at every turn. You deserve to see behind the veil of darkness. And take me to the master to trust as deep as we can go. I won't stand in your way. She has to trust him. You will not survive what is in there. gaze, searching for secrets inside of me. Secrets that even I can't see. I'm not here to fight my past. I'm here for Dillian. I will fulfill my vow, whatever the cost. This isn't just a broken bridge, is it? Mother, you showed me how to see further. To see the hidden wonders in our world and explore new paths into the unknown. To lead so that others may follow, or to warn so that they may avoid. That is our gift and our duty. I'm not going to look away in fear anymore. The Northmen say the world will come to an end. They call this Ragnarok. The destiny of the gods. First, there will be a terrible winter, three years long. Then, mankind will turn on itself. Brothers will fight each other to the death, and people will forget what they owe their kindred. Times will be hard. Crimes will be great. It will be an age of axes and swords. The wind will blow through abandoned halls. Wolves will walk where children played. The world will fall into ruin.
The Northmen say the gods will fight their last battle at Ragnarok. Their watchmen will blow the horn that can be heard through the whole world. And Odin will speak with the severed head of Nimir, which gives him good counsel. The land of the giants will thunder with the sound of their army on the move. The gods will assemble. The dwarves will leave their stones. The frost giants will come from the east. The Midgard serpent will turn up the waves. Eagles will scream and tear at the corpses with their yellow beaks. The ship of the dead will set sail.
The Northmen say that at Ragnarok, the gods will face a ship full of their foes, which Loki has steered to Asgard. It carries the fire giants, the wolf that will eat the sun, and all kinds of dark creatures. Surt will join them with his sword of fire. The cliffs will crash. Trolls will walk the land. Men will tread the road to hell. And the heavens will split open. Stop, 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 stop,